we're going to be installing Oracle Database 12, no, yeah, 12C, right, not 18C, that's his client. Uh, so first things first, go to oracle.com slash downloads, and then scroll down until you see downloads, and then scroll down and just hit um, 12C, Database 12C. Okay, so we're going to click on Accept the License Agreement, and we're going to click on the... Uh, since it's Windows, we're going to do a Windows server. We're going to click on the Microsoft Windows X64. Click on that file there. And when you do that, at the bottom right, left-hand side, you'll see that this file is actually start, uh, downloading now. So once that is um, downloaded, we're going to be copying it to an ISO file. And the one I use is in, Infra Recorder. And it's pretty nice. It's open source. It's free. You just throw on your computer, and you can take any files and then convert them to like an ISO file. And then after that, we just upload it to our data store, our um, Joe's data center data store. So the ESXi host, right? So we we'll click on data store, click on uh, download browser, and we just upload the file. To here, so ours is going to be like Oracle 12, uh, 12 C, so it'll be here actually. We just uh, attach the, let's see here, this guy here, yeah, just attach him. This is a media agent, right? Yeah. So we're going to attach the Oracle 12 G, 12 C, 12. That's fine, whatever. 12 um, database to it. So we'll click on the CD-ROM associated with it. We're going to find our Oracle 12. Okay. And that's connected. Yep. Save. Good. So now that we're on the media agent, let's double click on our drive here. And let's right click on this. And we're going to extract all. We're going to do it to the E drive though. And let's see, desktop, my computer, E drive. We're going to make a new folder though. We're going to call that um, Oracle um, 12, actually. So we're going to put it there. We're going to extract it all. We're not going to show the files. We're going to extract it uh, and then come back when it's uh, complete. So once we've extracted the file, uh, Oracle 12, double click on it double click in database right click on setup and run as administrator we're going to close this out this okay um, yes of course we want to install it yeah so it's going to go through its configuration this is the default um, I know this is the same thing with uh, 18 as well I believe it is to give you the same message please wait preparing to launch the Oracle universal installer Okay, you're prompted with a, uh, a splash screen, 12C, and of course, nice little Java applet. So now we're prompted with, um, we can enter an email or we can do wish to receive updates. I'm, need, I'm not going to do either um, for this, you know, development environment, right, whatever. But um, so we're just going to push next out of this. It's going to say, have you, you've not provided email? We, yeah, we're sure. We're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I want to create a new, uh, create a configure a database, a new one. I'm going to just a brand new one. Next. Since we're installing this on a server, we're going to choose server class, since this is a server. And we're going to push next. We're just installing a uh, single instance. Uh, database installation. I'm doing a cluster or a uh, one node database. So we're going to push uh, next out of this. We're going to select single instance database installation and next. So we're going to do um, just the typical. We're going to put everything on it. You know. So just take um, let's see. Yeah we haven't set up the username and password yet. So we're going to push next. Okay. So we're going to create a new uh, Windows user for this. And that's going to be, let's go Oracle 12. That's good. And put a 
password on it. Okay. What? It should be the right. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, Oracle 12 password. Right. All that. Uh, next. Okay. Here's the consideration one. Right. So now every time you uh, install really any database, right? You want to make sure that it's at a location, um, you put it at the right location. In our case, we're putting it in the E drive. So the only other consideration, so we're going to leave everything uh, the same, global database name, the container name, we're going to leave that the default storage type, file system, we're going to leave that default, yeah. And enterprise edition, we're going to leave that, yeah, and we're just going to put a password in. It's very important to remember this password, by the way, um, because without it, you can't get back in. So just remember the global database name, uh, ORCL. That's default. If you if you just send this set this up as like a standalone, not on the domain, basically, it's going to be the same. Uh, and what'll be ORCL dot whatever your domain name is, and password. You're the one choosing that. So we're going to push uh, next. It's going to do its, you know, um, performance checks, and uh, we'll come back after it's done. So unfortunately, my um, software crashed. My video editing software, recording software crashed after hours and hours of the Oracle database trying to install. So I left off at prerequisites, then it gives you a summary of what um, what you're downloading, and then it installs the product. And um, yeah, so once it's done installing, then it gives you a um, a data a URL you can go to. We're going to go to that, basically telling you some information about the um, about the database. So if you put our URL in uh, Chrome, Google Chrome, that seems to be the one that works, right? And we're going to um, log in. That was Oracle 12 was the actual uh, username. So let's give Oracle 12 a try. Put the password in. Push log in. Let me close this out here. Close this. So let's try this. Let's do sysdba. Let's try that. Let's try, um, so we're going to put the username in, password, and then as sysdba. So we're going to try sys system or sys, uncheck that, and click login. Sys, and then the password I put in when I um, set it up. Maybe this is like a SQL where you have like SA, and then maybe that's something similar to this. Okay, I'm logged in to the uh, Oracle Enterprise Manager Database Express for 12, 12C. Um, so yeah, we're good to go. Thanks for watching this tutorial on how to just install Oracle uh, Database on a uh, Windows Server with uh, Oracle 12C. If you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course which is I have two courses one is at getajobinit.teachable.com and the other course is on Udemy it's learn backup and restore with Commvault get a high paying job you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer there's some good content there related to this if you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.